Hey, what's up you all? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about ticker symbol ZOM Zamerica Corp. One of our favorite, favorite stock that we have been reviewing pretty consistently. The stock is closed at $1.89, down 10%. It was as down as $1.40. A great price to get the, get the stock at $1.40. It got back up. It had a great, great momentum. After hours, the stock is showing $1.94. It did go up about $2.00. Uh, $2 level today, $2.10 as you can see right here. And it had a pretty good momentum. So I'll be talking about three things. We'll review the stock price, we'll do the analysis and at a very high level, we'll look at the RSI as well. So we'll do the technical analysis. The second thing we'll do is we'll look into their latest news and updates about Zamedica Corp, what it is up to. And the third thing is upcoming one of the big, big catalysts that we are all waiting for at the end of March, 2021. So after one month almost. So let, without further delay, let's look into Zamedica Corp. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing to my channel for timely updates and latest uh, videos. And also click on the like button because it takes me a while to do the research, post this video and share this information with you all. So your like is very much appreciated. Please, please click on the like button. Click on the notification bell if you have already subscribed so you can get a notification as soon as I make this video public and share it with you all. Now, Zamedica Corp, without further delay has a great momentum if you take a look at the five day chart the stock is down 15 percent but if you take a look at one month chart the stock is up 85 percent for six months the stock is up 1475 percent so if you bought the stock below this level below 50 25 cents level you have a great you have seen a great great run there is a lot of uh, return on investment in within a very short period of time for zamedica corp the company is not revenue positive as just yet they're burning through cash five million dollars in net negative income in q3 in q2 same 5.31 million in q1 their income was net negative 2.45 million the company has enough cash they had 22.93 23 million dollars in q3 but after that they raised a lot more capital so cap cash is not really a problem for the company the market cap is still pretty small 1.76 billion the day range as you can imagine one dollar and 33 cents to two dollars and ten cents it was a deep price it was a great uh, price to to buy additional shares uh, i'm not sure if you already bought or not but i just wanted to share uh, this information and research with you looking at zamedica the 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 volume today it was 153 million compared to the average volume of 175 million so still the volume is below the average volume but today it was a red day there were a lot of factors most of the stocks were down so zamedica did pretty good in my opinion it did not dip as much as so many other stocks dipped and Zamedica also got back up pretty quickly as well. Now, looking at uh, the volume, now the volume was three times more than what we saw yesterday. Yesterday's volume was 56 million. Today, it's uh, 153 million. Now, looking at the stock price, the stock price has been uh, on the red side as uh, the rest of the market uh, also shown the weakness in the market. Now, looking at uh, $2.05 low yesterday, today's low was significant low $1.33 however the stock got back up and closed at $1.89 level the stock's volume has been on the lower side the higher volume we have seen was on February 8th 409 million and since then the volume is almost on the lower side it decreased uh, gradually 348 million 213 million 200 million 102 million so on and so forth it went as low as 50 million and today it got back up almost 153 million i believe there was uh, there was some buying that happened during the day as well and many investors who knew the catalyst who knew what the company is expecting in terms of their true forma product and all that kind of good stuff they bought more stocks for zamedica corp now looking at the chart the RSI looked pretty healthy. If you take a look at the RSI at $1.8889, the RSI is 44. That suggests that the stock can run up tomorrow because it is on the oversold side. 
So whenever the stock had $2.10 right here, their RSI was uh, 76. Once again, it's not a huge RSI, 76, 77. It's not really a huge RSI in my opinion. When the stock was down at uh, $1.08, so I'm sorry, when the stock was down at $1.42, the RSI was 20, if you can see the red bar right here. 20 RSI is oversold condition. Now, when you have oversold condition, that means the stock will shoot up. Now, once again, it depends upon so many other factors. What are the recent announcement? If there is any economy change or, or the signs from Fed or whatnot, Yesterday we saw there was like bond price and the yield changes that were happening and the market expected and there was a tech, uh, big tech uh, stocks fell down pretty quickly and that all impacts the smaller stocks like Zamedica as well. Now looking at uh, Zamedica, it sounds pretty promising in terms of the updates. One of the thing I wanted to mention is they announced the full exercise over allotment option by underwriter and that happened on February 16th. The company announced that the underwriter of its previously announced public offering has exercise in full its over allotment option purchase of an additional 13 million common shares of Zamedica at the price of $1.90 per share less underwriting discount and commissions uh, and all that kind of stuff so the gross proceeds for the company is approximately 200 million now company was sitting on a large pile of cash i believe 90 million their ceo announced before that the company has enough cash to run up until 2023 so company has 200 more more million dollars um on their balance sheet so the balance sheet looks pretty healthy at the moment it looks pretty attractive that will help them launching and commercializing their product true format that they are very near to launch their commercialization date that the company has announced is 31st january so after a month in 2021 that is the excitement and that is uh, a lot more investors industry experts are experts are waiting to see how that works out that will bring this company revenue the company is not revenue positive so think about what happens once the company has more revenue uh, product pipeline they will have to enhance their product so there is a lot of excitement coming for zomedica corp and that is one of the reason that a lot of stock uh, and investment community is waiting to see what Zamedica is up to. Now, looking at that, the company announced this uh, timeline in Q4 2020, and they're pretty spot on in terms of uh, sharing more details with the investment community, making sure that they have enough progress and they're on track with the timeline that they have come up with. And Zamedica signed a true format distribution agreement with Miller Vet Supply. This was announced last month, but I wanted to share this with you that they have signed the agreement and distribution agreement with Miller just to suggest that the company is on track right now they are sharing more and more information with the inv industry expert investment community and they're pretty hopeful to launch their, their true forma product within the uh, within the defined timeline that the company has true forma is the product for dogs and cats to identify and detect some severe health condition the company has suggested that their data in the case studies and the user user study is pretty accurate they also suggest that they will be able to detect this information and provide the result within 20 minutes and their true format product it's going to be one of the unique product within the marketplace so this is one of the great thing and true forma is going to be distributed by the company called miller and they are the miller is the company one of the fastest growing business this that was established in 1920 and they are one of the oldest wholesale vet distributor in the united states the company is currently managed by a group of vet expert who are within the industry they are small and independent that allows miller to provide exceptional customer service and they will be able to set up the supply chain management for uh, Zamedica Corp, they'll be able to distribute this product uh, for the point of care center and distribution channels. So we are pretty hopeful and we'll see what happens, what's next up for Miller. Now, in terms of, now I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own due diligence and research before you buy or sell Zom or any other stock that we discuss on my channel. Click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this information with your friends and family. I hope this information helps you making informed financial decisions. I'll see you in the next video.